Welcome little scientists, it's Miss Gisa, and today we're going to continue learning about the frog and the frog life cycle. And I have my little frog with me today. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Do you guys remember what kind of an animal is a frog? Is it a bird? Is it a mammal? Is it an insect? How about a reptile? If you guessed amphibian, you would be right, which means that frogs live both on land and in water. Today's story is called From Tadpole to Frog, and it's written by Wendy Pfeffer and illustrated by Holly Keller. This is Frog Pond, but where are the frogs? When winter winds whistle, the frogs hide. They sleep at the bottom of the pond, in the soft mud. Frogs hibernate in their hideaway all winter long. After the ice melts, flowers appear, birds return, and pond creatures wake up. Spring has arrived at Frog Pond. Here are the old frogs stretching their legs. At night, you hear, barum, barum. Room. The males are calling to their mates. The females hear the call. The male hugs his mate. He fertilizes her eggs as she lays them in the water. Thousands of soft jelly covered eggs cling together in the cool water. In about 10 days, the eggs hatch. The pond comes alive with thousands of tiny tadpoles. They wiggle their tails and breathe underwater with gills just like fish. During the summer, the tadpoles swim about eating water plants, but water beetles, snakes, and birds are eating too. They're eating tasty tadpoles. When fall comes, look carefully in the water. Are any tadpoles left? Look here. Are they tadpoles or wet leaves? They're brownish speckled tadpoles. Hundreds of them float by with the brownish speckled leaves. Eating and swimming, swimming and eating, the tadpoles grow fat. When winter winds blow again, they burrow under the mud at the bottom of the pond. They do not eat, they do not move, they just sleep. When spring sunshine warms the tadpoles world, they awake, hungry, so they swim and eat, eat and swim. Tiny hind legs begin to sprout. They grow longer and stronger while the tail grows shorter. Tiny front legs begin to show. The tadpoles look like long-tailed frogs. All summer, the tadpoles change more. Lungs develop and more. Mouths and eyes grow larger and more until they become frogs. When their tails disappear, they are no longer tadpoles. Now they use their strong legs and webbed feet to swim instead of their tails. Now they can rest on lily pads and leap onto land. The frogs flick out their long sticky tongues and capture worms, spiders, and dragonflies. Now where are the frogs? Slowly, the days grow colder. Winter winds blow. Birds fly south. Once again, the pond creatures hibernate. Where are the frogs now? There are about 2,000 kinds of frogs. They are different in size, shape, habits, and color, but they are alike in many ways. All frogs grow from eggs to legless fish-like tadpoles to four-legged adults. The frog pictured throughout this book is a bullfrog. It is the largest frog in the United States. The bullfrog tadpole takes up to two years to change into a frog. Other tadpoles take anywhere from two weeks to two years to change into frogs. Here are some other kinds of frogs. Leopard or grass frog. Leopard frogs are the most common frogs in the United States. They are covered with leopard-like spots and have a deep chuckle. Pickerel frog. 
Pickerel frogs are greenish brown with squarish dark brown spots. Poison comes out of their skin. Snakes will not eat them. Wood frogs live in the woods. They lay eggs in quiet woodland pools. They are brownish with black robber's marks on their faces. The great tree frogs live in trees and shrubs. They come down only to lay eggs in nearby ponds or streams. Their color changes to match the trees. They can stay still for a long time so their enemies do not see them. The spring peeper. Tiny spring peepers have loud, clear voices. They start to sing after the first warm rain. Peepers are one of the first signs of spring. All right, little scientists, join me. We're gonna do a quick activity. All right, little scientists, let's review the life cycle of a frog. Now, I know that you know, what is the first step in the frog's life cycle? That's right, just like all the other life cycles we've been learning about this year, the life cycle of a frog starts with the eggs. So the adult frog lays the eggs and that happens in the water. And then what comes next? That's right, a tadpole hatches from the eggs. And if you'll notice, there are no legs on the tadpole. All right, what do you think comes next? If you said this one, that would be right. A little froglet. So you'll notice that now the back legs have grown on what will become a frog. And then yes, the tail is shrinking and now the froglet has front and back legs, right? And then finally the tail will disappear completely and the adult frog will emerge. Now I wanted to show you the actual size of the froglet. This is just the froglet with its hind legs. You can still see the tail there. And then this is the froglet with front and back legs. And this is the adult frog. You can really see the eyes, the nostrils. And this is, the, if you look up at the top, that's what the eggs look like. They're teeny, teeny, tiny. And then this is the tadpole that emerges from the eggs. All right, you will have some activities that I gave you for this week and some cards that you can use to make the life cycle at home. If you enjoyed this activity, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe so you never miss a lesson or a read aloud. Thank you for joining me today. Remember to like and subscribe to support our channel.